Hey guys, I'm sorry, this Ruth again. I just want to finish up on um, Aries Sun and the 12th house, the moon in the 12th house. Okay, and I think I stopped. Uh, the moon in the 12th house can bring quite a lot of fears, usually connected with emotional issues. The native may be afraid of being abandoned by people in his life, and he might frequently en enclose himself in his own shell because of that. He might spend long periods away from people just to avoid getting too close and experiencing fears of losing them. These matters are usually echoes of childhood fears connected with the native's mother. The mother may have been subconsciously perceived as an enemy during the native's young years and may have had a very mutable mood, depressive tendencies, or even hysteria. In addition, she might have been hospitalized quite a, quite a lot in her life while also being in prison, monastery, or other institution of seclusion. Uh, I was just telling my daughter about that time in her life um, where, where I had her. I had so many problems with her dad. I had that postpartum depression. And um, when with my oldest daughter helping me out during that time, um, you know, I would have, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I was going through a lot of depression during that time. So, yeah. Um, let me see. I'm going to clear this out. Where's this? Up? Let me see. Hold on, y'all. One second. The native's imagination is very strong, and he will often be daydreaming. The moon placed there can disturb his sleep, bring quite a lot of dreams, which in, in case of bad aspects may be nightmares. In addition, many nights can be sleepless and full of thoughts, sometimes melancholic. If you have this placement, you might discover monthly reoccurring patterns of difficult nights, either connected with the full moon or when it transits its natal position. People with the moon in the 12th house will not control their emotions easily, and they will often overflow as the seas tide. Fragile and withdrawn, they are very easily hurt, even if they will not express their pain. On the other hand, this overabundance of lunar energy can make them strong killers, especially through nurturing other people. In many occasions, it can also bring a job that involves caring. We should not forget that the 12th house rules all institutions, hospitals, and clinics. The moon in the 12th house can make someone a nurse, a cook, or else, east, else or bring jobs in such places of restriction. This will most li mostly happen in if the 6th or the 10th house cuspids are placed in cancer. Okay, I think that's all on that one. But I found some more interesting things on the... Um, okay, not finished. Okay. 12th, as the 12th house is responsible for hidden enemies, a person whose moon is afflicted by malefics like Mars... Saturn or Pluto will have repeating situations of feminine female enemies. These might not be perceived as hostile in the beginning and will be frequently viewed as friends, even if they are already backstabbing the individual. If you have this placement, keep an eye on doubtful females or people of strong cancer moon emphasis, but try not to become paranoid for it may Furthermore, alienate you from social life. Yeah, she's already experienced that. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I was talking about... Uh, where is it? This one. Yeah, I was talking about... Moon and Twelve House. Uh, Aries, Sun, Sun, Pisces in the house. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we start off with Pisces. Uh, I guess we'll do the, her North Node in the house. Okay. Uh, so 
to make it louder. Okay, I still did not know. Really. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Having a north node in the 12th house of the natal chart automatically automatically also means that the south node is located in the 6th house. Excuse me. <clears throat> this natal placement of the north node indicates a heavy emphasis on matters concerning one's deep psyche. psyche. The 12th house is responsible for the individual's subconscious and unconscious, while it is also connected with self sacrifice secrets secrets the supernatural and occult in addition the 6 and 12 angst shows that your life lessons involves your attitude towards daily routines the health of your body while also while also job and service towards others okay let's go up a little bit As the lunar nodes indicate karmic debts in connection with previous lifetimes, the native who has the north node in the 12th house must dedicate himself entirely to expanding his spirituality. The south node in the 6th indicates that during the person's previous life... Ah, ah turn it down, baby. Sorry about that, y'all. It was hard, uh, in the case that during the person's previous life, he was hard worker, totally concentrated on daily labor. He may have been a workaholic, while even his body suffered from such a working regime. There are high possibilities that poor health from the previous lifetime will tend to reoccur during the current one. The karmic path of such a native is to break this pattern and to dedicate his life to spiritual quests. These can include auto psychoanalysis, medicate, meditation, or any other way of unveiling the deeper layers of his mind and existence. So he, the person can't, you know, uh, be a workaholic this time around. They have to get more into their psychic abilities, do more the meditation because they hurt their bodies last time working so hard. So, um, this time it might be worse. The North Node always shows us what road we must follow in order to develop ourselves. And most of the times it is not the easiest one to choose. Most people usually feel quite uncomfortable about marching towards fulfilling matters of the house where the North Node is located. This is because during um, previous lifetimes we have gathered a lot of experience concerning the South Node house matters. Indeed, we are a lot more acquainted with the roads we have already walked. Yet life requires from us to abandon the safety of known patterns and face development through unknown areas. For fulfillment, fulfillment of for fulfilling our cause, the North Node strengthens everything it touches. Of course, a lot of fears can be present concerning the direction it indicates, as it is Terra Ignita, yet to be discovered. Incognito, sorry. Yet <clears throat> the North Node is quite is quite beneficial when with conjunction with any planet present in the house, even if it is a malefic. Naturally, a malefic planet advisedly aspects will still remain a rather harsh lesson to learn. Spiritual growth will be evidently reached, even if it comes through difficulties, but generally expect the North Node of the Moon to bless you with an expansion of positive traits of any planet nearby. We should state that the 12th house is probably the toughest one to cope with in a native chart, and the person who has such a placement will have to make strong efforts in order to reach his karmic goals. 
The North Node in the 12th house indicates that the native must spend a lot of time with himself. Through solitude, he can understand a lot better the functions of his mind. Just put your chair over there, boy. Get pillows on the floor, one or two. Many times, people who have... Sorry about that, y'all. Who have the North Node placed here are living with a lot of fears and phobias. It is a natural consequence that this house delivers. The North Node shows that he must stand up and fight them. In this battle, he is alone, and this is the reason why a solitary background is necessary. The 12th house also rules places of its seclusion, yet one does not need to go to a monastery so that he reaches the enlightenment he reaches, searches for. Most people can get into such a 12th house state even by spending more time alone without influences from people of their nearby environment. There are even plenty of beautiful ways to achieve the necessary distance from others. Living on the borders of the city, frequent closeness to nature are just by choosing to pass time alone in your house. Curiously enough, a great battlefield for such people is at night time. By staying awake at night, they are symbolically battling their archetypes of fears and phobias. Every sunrise is a victory. This is a great way for personal, customized meditation that can they can use, especially if their phobias are also connected to darkness, both literally and metaphorically. Also, the 12th house, North Node, can bring to natives a karmic road of altruistic surface towards others. The 12th house is ruled by Pisces, and such a native will learn through selfless offerings to others, forgiving his enemies, and even being patient during his mar martyrdom. In addition, the artistic traits of Neptune, the 12th house ruling planet, instructs such a chart on to develop through creating art. Thus, he has the opportunity to transform his fears and his pain into symbolic redemption. If you have this placement, consider trying art even on an amateur level. Painting, poetry, or even dancing may become your personal psychotherapy. Again, prefer exercise these activities on your own. People with the North Node in the 12th house tend to suffer from lack of faith and low self-esteem. They must, therefore, establish back this faith, both towards their own self and towards something higher, depending on their religious views. As the 12th house is a gate to the occult and the supernatural, big changes in their customary cos cosmotherapy can occur after paranormal events in their life. The North Node empowers their clairvoyant abilities and in some cases such people can reach control over their occult powers. The 12th house rules large animals and the North Node makes the relationship with them a necessary part of the native's life. Curiously enough, many people who have their North Node place here are strongly attra attracted to horses and dolphins in particular. Some of them who also have NATO plants placed in the 12th house even have a job which involves taking care of animals. The presence of animals in their life is necessary for spiritual progress and healing. Of course, the North Node acts as a benefit and usually helps great love develop between them and the animals. I'm going to have to make a part three because my, I know my phone won't last. But thank you all for listening. Like whatever you all feel like doing. Subscribe. It doesn't matter. I'll be back with part three. Thanks.